Linda, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video, you guys, because I have been holding on to this one for so long at this point that it has been eating me up inside. So as you guys might know, I am on a low buy for 2019, but for Christmas, I did get a gift that I've been holding on to. I haven't touched it, I haven't swatched it, I haven't done anything with it, and you probably already know what it is by now from the title of this video, but it is the Colored Rain Vivid Pigment and Shadows Palette. Again, I haven't touched it, I haven't swatched it. This gorgeousness has not been breathed on. As a lot of you guys might know, if you've been watching my channel for any period of time, I am a massive sugar pill fan. And yes, this is a very old pro palette, but I've been a sugar pill fan since the day they came out. I think the quality of their products is so amazing. I think they make bright colors like no one else does, but there was something about this palette that was always calling to me and I never bought it for myself. So when I got it for Christmas, I was all like Nye. But today what I wanted to do is split my face in half and I want to apply sugar pill on one side and colored rain on the other and see how they compare. Now I'm not trying to shade either brand if I say that one maybe holds on better than the other or is more pigmented than the other. I have a feeling I'm gonna love both of these. I just wanna let you know that if you have one in your collection and not the other, then maybe you don't need them both or maybe you do need them both. I wanna break it all down for you, price, cruelty-free status, everything, just so you guys can know how best to spend your money because neither of these products is particularly cheap. So I wanna make sure that you're getting the most value. Before we get into this video, please give it a big thumbs up if you like comparison videos and if you like knowing where to save your money. Subscribe if you haven't already and go ahead and smash that notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a new video. Let's get right into it. One other thing I wanna mention is that I was lucky enough to receive a package of goodies from MOTD Cosmetics. I admit that I had not really heard of this brand before they contacted me and when I looked into them, they looked so cool that I was like, yes, I would love to receive some products. So no, this video is not sponsored by them, but they were kind enough to send me these gorgeous eye brushes that I wanna try out today. All of their brushes have been certified cruelty-free and vegan. They are made of a high-grade synthetic polyester fiber that mimics animal hair and they supposedly distribute product just like animal hair and they're hypoallergenic and antibacterial since they're non-porous, unlike animal fur, which is a porous material. These do all feel incredibly soft yet firm. That's my big thing. I notice with a lot of synthetic brushes, sometimes they will be so soft, but then they just like throw powder everywhere. I'm not about that life. There will be timestamps in this video down below if you wanna skip ahead to any specific section, but before I test these products out on my face, I do wanna give you a little background between the two brands. Both Colored Rain and Sugar Pill are cruelty-free, which is fantastic, and most of the products on each line are vegan. Now, it does say most because not all of them. For example, in the Colored Rain palette, I find it crazy that there are a lot of these very bright type red shades, but the only one that is not vegan is Unbothered. This one does contain Carmine, which does have some remnants of crushed up bugs in it. So that one is not vegan, but I find it amazing that the bright red shade is vegan. There are more non-vegan shades in my Sugar Pill palette than there are in the Colored Rain palette. Now, Sugar Pill does do a make your own palette now. They don't come just preset like this. So it is very easy to create a completely vegan palette for yourself at Sugar Pill. The shades that are not vegan in my palette here are Love Plus, Flame Point, Poison Plum, and that's it. So those three shades are not vegan. Everything else in this palette is vegan. As you can also see, the pans in the Sugar Pill palette are significantly larger than the Colored Rain pans. The Sugar Pill palettes are anywhere between three and 3.5 grams, and the Colored Rain pans are 1.8 grams each. Per pan, the Sugar Pill shadows cost $10, and per pan, these cost about $7. So as far as a cost per gram, the Colored Rain is 26 cents per gram, Sugar Pill is 30 cents per gram. So there's not a huge difference between the two, but there is just a little bit. I wanted to let you guys know about that. As far as the number of shades offered in this range, Colored Rain has 16, Sugar Pill currently has 18, but Sugar Pill does have a whole bunch that they're about to release soon, so there will be a larger shade range for Sugar Pill. Now, as far as cost per palette goes, that is where we see a huge difference. The Colored Rain Vivid Pigments palette is $50, but they constantly have sales. I saw this palette for as low as $25 during Christmas time. Because Sugar Pill palettes are create your own at this point, you do have to buy the palette separately from the shadows inside. So if you wanted something like this with the palette and 12 shadows inside, it would cost you $156. So $50 versus $156. 
Now, again, when you talk about cost per gram, they are very much similar. So you are getting a lot more product with Sugar Pill, but the price difference is vast. Okay, enough talking. We are going to slap this on our faces. This side is going to be the color rain. This side is going to be Sugar Pill split right down the middle. I am going to do a look as similar as possible using colors that are similar as possible to each other. So if that is something that is interesting to you, we're doing this. Let's do this. So I'm obviously not wearing any face makeup at this point, but I am going to go ahead and prime my eyelids with a little bit of concealer like I usually do. So the only thing that these palettes do not have in it is kind of a soft transition color to put in your crease to kind of help the colors blend together. So I am going to go into my Gemini palette and I'm going to pick up the color Luna and I'm going to use the MOTD Cosmetics Seamless Sheer Blend Brush. This is a very fluffy kind of crease brush and I'm just gonna pop that all in my crease. This brush is so soft and it's blending things really easily. So it's hard to know what I'm gonna do. I wanna make sure that I have colors that are very similar to each other. So I think I'm going to be doing kind of a yellow, green, and blue look. I think I'll put them right across the lid. So yellow into green into maybe this kind of royal blue. Ooh, this is so exciting. And then maybe I'll put purple on the lower lash line. We're gonna go crazy today, girl. I can't remember which side I said I was gonna do stuff on. This is gonna be Sugar Pill, this is gonna be Colored Rain. First, I'm going into Sugar Pill's Butter Cupcake. Let's zoom you in further. As much as I always love this color, I do have a little trouble getting it to not be patchy sometimes. It sort of flakes off my skin. You can see on the edge here, it doesn't blend out as well as I would love it, and maybe that's because I don't use a sticky enough base, but just throwing that out there. With the other side of the same brush, I'm going in with Colored Rain's Lemon Drop. So looking up close, Lemon Drop is actually applying just a scotch better than Butter Cupcake, but not by much. They're both very bright, very vivid. So the greens are slightly different, but I think they're similar enough that it'll be okay. I'm gonna go in with Midori from Sugar Pill on the center of my lid. Right now I'm just packing these colors on, obviously. I'm not really blending them out much. I'm just packing it on and we'll go back and blend in a bit. And with the other side of my brush, I'm going in with Color Grains Level Up. These colors are definitely different greens, but they're still both very pretty. So Midori definitely has some more blue tones in it, whereas the Level Up has more yellowy tones in it. So this is definitely showing up as a brighter kind of Kelly green, whereas Midori is sort of an emerald blue green, if that makes sense. For the outer edge, Sugar Pill Velocity. I'm using a Luxie 207T brush. Don't know if you can see on camera, but this color is a little patchy. I know it's not blended yet, and it looks like a third grader did it. It gets worse before it gets better. I'm gonna bring this a little bit into the crease. I just dug my thumbnail into my Fuego highlighter. Meh. Then on the other side, I'm going in with Neo Blue by Color Brain. Okay, to blend, I'm gonna go back and forth with each color and kind of blend them together, packing them on, and just sort of gently combining the colors. So this is interesting. A lot of times with bright matte colors, I'll kind of go in with my finger and gently go along the line to blend them. I just did that on this eye and the green all but disappeared. I'm gonna try the MOTD brush in Build and Blend just to get this crease to not be so harsh. So look what happens to the color on this side, at least. Let's see if it's the same on the other side when I blend out. The colored rain side is hanging on a little bit more when it comes to the blue, but I'm gonna go ahead and add some more on the sugar pill side. So that brush is fab for blending things out, but I do want a little more of a punch of color. So I'm going back in with the original brush and packing that blue back on. Here's the thing, this might seem like a lot of work, 
but when it comes to vivid matte eyeshadows, I think that you're always gonna have to put in the work personally. I don't think that these are beginner shades. I don't think that this is either of these are beginner palettes. I think you need to work with them and find out what works for you when using things like this and take your time, take your time. Okay, so I do have a lot of fallout on both sides, so I'm just gonna take a makeup wipe and clean this up real quick before moving on to the rest of the eyes and face. I've been trying out cruelty-free makeup wipes and I have not found ones that I love yet, you guys. These are by Pacifica. Oh, and the smell is like rose something. Do not like. I don't like the smell of rose, but I'm not going to waste these. Okay, now that that's cleaned up off camera, I'm gonna go ahead and apply the rest of my face and my eyebrows because those products kinda don't matter in this tutorial. I will list everything down below and I will be right back. Now that my face is on, I'm going to finish up the eyes. I'm going to line my waterline with this collab black liner. This has still been my favorite. I've been loving this. I'm gonna do a big old wing using some Kat Von D tattoo liner in Trooper and then some mascara using the Milk Makeup Kush mascara. Then we'll move on to the lower lash line. The liner went a little bit haywire. Haywire? The liner went a little bit haywire, but I think we're gonna deal with it. Let's go in with Sugar Pills Poison Plum. So unfortunately, like I said, this shade is not vegan. This will be the only shade that I use that is not vegan. We're gonna use the MOTD Sultry Smudge Brush, and I'm gonna put that right under the lower lash line. Poison Plum is my favorite purple of all time, so I'm really curious to see how this one does. This is Perp Smurf by Colored Rain. They're nearly identical. I'm really excited about that. <laughs> A little bit of Dose of Colors Fuego. With a look like this, I just wanna do a nude lip, so I'm just gonna do lip liner and then my Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm. So first impressions, I love them both. I feel like each shade you have to work with differently. This is in both of the palettes. Some shades you have to pack on. Some shades are better if they're swiped on. Some shades are better when they're blended. So I really feel like you need to get in there and like I said, have patience with any vivid kind of matte pigmented eyeshadow like this. I went ahead and I used different brushes. Sometimes I used crease brushes. Sometimes I used flat packing brushes. Just test them out and see what works for you. I did notice the biggest difference for me came with the greens. Midori is a little bit hard to work with. It goes on uh, not so much patchy, but it sort of disappears when you blend some colors over it, whereas Level Up, which is the colored rain shadow, worked a little bit better and held onto its own just a little bit more. But still, they both look so similar. I, I'm shocked. I feel like if if you wouldn't have told me that these are different, you wouldn't know. And actually, I am going to put that to the test. I'm going out with some friends in a little bit. It is early. It is only 9.50 a.m., but I'm supposed to be going and throwing axes today. This could be great. So I'm gonna throw some axes and some very bright ass makeup, but I do wanna test my friend and be like, hey, which one's different? See if she can figure it out. We're gonna do a wear test throughout the day. I'll check in when I can, and we'll see what we feel like at the end of the day. <laughs> Makeup has been on for about nine hours and I'm going to bed soon, so I'm gonna be taking this off. I did have kind of a crazy busy day today. I was ax throwing, like this isn't things I do on a normal Saturday. One thing they don't tell you about ax throwing is that your shoulders and back hurt like a motherfucker after you're done. So I laid down for a while. I had to take just a long bath. This was my first time using Epsom salts. Why didn't y'all tell me how amazing Epsom salts are? I'm blaming you guys. Makeup, this is why we're here. Just to remind you, this is the sugar pill side. This is the color grain side. I'm going to take a close up look and I'll bring you guys in nice and close too. Okay, so as you can see, the colors definitely faded a bit, but I think they faded equally on both eyes. 
in the crease, I lost a bit of color on both eyes, but that's because I tend to get a tiny bit oily. That's the only spot on my whole face I get oily is right in the crease. So you can see I've lost some color here and right over here. They look exactly the same. I'll be honest, you guys, I was kind of hoping for this big like wow, bang moment at the end of this video going, oh, you definitely need to buy this one and stay away from this one. I can't tell you that. So you're gonna have to base your decision on a few things. First of all, these shadows are much smaller. So if you don't think that you're gonna be using a lot of them, you can buy these shades individually and just get these small pans. But on the other hand, if you're somebody who wears yellow all the time or something like that, these pans are huge and you will go through them. I mean, I have a significant dent, dent in the butter cupcake yellow, poison plum purple, things like that. If having all of your shades be vegan is very important to you, I would have to go with the color right over that because like I said, the only shade is unbothered that is not vegan in this whole palette where a sugar pill does have some more colors that are not vegan. Both brands are minority owned, both brands are women owned. I mean, I just, it's really hard for me to say. So again, you're just gonna have to make this decision on your own. I wish I was more of a help here. Let me know down in the comments, if you guys have tried both brands, do you have a preference of one vivid pigment shadow over the other? I am actually thrilled to have both of these in my collection, honestly. I'm really happy to have both. They're both fantastic brands. They're both fantastic colors. And usually I would say, oh, you know, I have one, I don't need the other. I'm pretty pumped to have them both. Like when it comes to sugar pill, these two colors, you cannot find those in color green. And I love these two colors, especially this one. This is acid berry. It is such a cool color. Like a lot of these colors, you just, you can't find anywhere else. And same thing with color green. I mean like this lilac purple is really beautiful. It's just, I don't know, they're both amazing. <laughs> Thank you guys so, so much for watching and coming on this bright, vivid pigment journey with me. You guys can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I would love to see you over there, and I will see you guys in the next video. You like my Christmas sweater, by the way? Merry eh, Christmas. <laughs> Bye. You ever get like a hair and you feel it go like right down your cleavage and it just tickles so bad you want to kill something? Okay. Bye.